All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute pour. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the Octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Awesome. Alright, this is for the championship. You've been giving me instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this my first. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Just misses with the left hook. Blocks that strike. Oh, Superman punches 
is true. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Ooh, what a punch. Massive elbow land to the clinch. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Beautiful body kick. Three minutes now, round one. Good stick. Nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? It's a good right hand right there. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him drive his shit into his own body with that body kick. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Good punch, Lance. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, a huge block there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Ooh, big shot lands. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Big and kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Got the single collar tie. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. No problem. Relax. The takedowns didn't go your way last round. We know how to fix it. I want you to pretend you're going to expand with this. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. We expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh! Oh, straight right! Ah, that jab hurt him. Oh, big left! And he continues to work the body here. Oh, slips to avoid the right. 
Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. What a punch. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Right on the elbow. Body closes. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time driving a kick like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Right punches there. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, huge punch! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, single collar tie now. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. It ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Single collar tie now. In the tie clinch. Look for the knee to Ooh. start. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big punch land. Ooh. What a body kick. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That was a nice strike. The one-two punch is true. Oh, Superman punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, look at it go. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! 30 seconds to go. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. There's no tell on that leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one 
that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Great punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice defense there. Huge block. Able to land there with the straight left. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over. Target there, that'll work. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Unable to connect with the right hand there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, nice, nice. Double leg take the ball, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Back to the feet now. Talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Nice. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down with the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice right hand. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Wow. Leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice sneak at once. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just out of range with that left hook. Fighters throwing heat now. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, man, look at that picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like he landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's hurt, he's hurt. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now, because he's got to be swimming very bad. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is a 
aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just out of range with the big right hand. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. Let's see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a bell strapped around their waist. It's amazing. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That's a big strike right there. Misses again with a right punch. Huge block there. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant. You cannot allow that to get hit any more because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. I mean, that right hand landed square. Superman punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, he lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He went high on that one. Oh! Let's go! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So a good job by him here. Yeah, he's, hurt really bad. he's got him hurt here. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. That right thigh really starting to show some bruising. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, head kick land. Perfect. He got a bad. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. 
Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Back to the elbow now, that'll work. Show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called the stop to this contest at one minute, 33 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Monster. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.